Overpaying for anything sucks, especially socks. So why pay $45 for a single pair of grip socks when you can spend less than half? Pure Grip Socks Pro feature our best materials for optimal fit, moisture wicking, and performance at a fair price. Just $16.99 a pair at puregripsocks.com. Inside these boxes, or one of them at least, is what is likely to be the final pair of World Cup football boots for Cristiano Ronaldo. Although it honestly wouldn't surprise me if he made it to the next one. Ladies and gentlemen, the 2022 World Cup CR7 Nike Zoom Mercurial Superfly 9 Elite, an extremely long name for what is a pretty complex looking pair of football boots inspired by the Azulejo this is what happens when I try to speak Portuguese. The Azulejo Portuguese tiles in white and blue featuring a bunch of different graphics taken from previous CR7 signatures, this being his 31st, retailing for $285, a $10 premium over a regular Superfly 9 Elite colorway. Also, for the first time in a long time, because they haven't done this since the Superfly 5 and Vapor 11, you can get the latest CR7 signature in the form of a Vapor, this being the 15 Elite model, retailing for $260 rather than $250, again, a $10 premium over a regular colorway. Both of which can be had below their normal retail prices by way of some exclusive SR4U coupon codes by checking out the links down below. As for the colorway itself, like so many Ronaldo signatures, the boots are packed with a bunch of little details, which like the last several, do a lot of calling back to previous colorways. Of course, the inspiration of the Azulejo tiles in white and blue is the main reason why these look the way that they do. And I must admit, the combination of white blue with a bronze accent does look really cool. Of course, something that's noticeable about this colorway is it doesn't have the giant air branding on the inside of the football boot or on the outside, which I know a lot of people really hate about the latest generation of Mercurials. This has kind of graphics that are all on its own. And the Nike swoosh itself is actually quite large in terms of being pressed onto the surface. So it's noticeable in terms of adding extra thickness through the midfoot, although I don't think it really impacts the touch feel or comfort in any significant way that should deter you from this colorway if you're worried about performance. What I will say that I don't love about the colorway is there seems to be a lot of different shades of blue and maybe that doesn't come across in video, but this blue is different from this blue, which is different from the lighter blue, which seems to be a little bit different from the plastic blue on the sole plate, which is a little bit different from the blue in the studs. And then this graphic that they have in the forefoot just ultimately ends up looking faded and kind of like the plastic is already yellowed, even though it has kind of a darker tint to it. Again, it's not that it's bad, but I just think that the blues should have matched a little bit better. But this is me getting really nitpicky because if you look at the graphics, it's quite cool. You can see the Safari print from a past model. You can see that kind of Portuguese captain's logo that we've seen on past colorways as well. Lots of little details, a bunch of Nike swooshes incorporated into the pattern as well. And you can see kind of textured in the Nike swoosh itself is more of that pattern, which I think is a really cool touch. You have your Air Zoom branding there on the lateral side and the only visible CR7 logo on the outside is very subtly placed on the inside of the heel. So for those that hate CR7 plastered on the boot as well, you're not getting it on this colorway. White across the top of the foot, white for the collar, a little blue detail on the back of the heel. And then of course, the sole plate is a combination of blue and white, which ultimately I think looks quite good. With the final detail being the insoles, which of course feature the CR7 logo in bronze on the heel, as well as the same pattern as the upper, in blue on blue that also happens to match the string bag, which I think looks really, really good. It's an 8.2 out of 9.04. And as for the performance side of things, again, other than the Nike swoosh, that's a little bit more prominent on the upper than other colorways, there is physically nothing different about this CR7 variation. If you're looking to learn more about the fit, feel, and performance of these boots, because I've done it in a couple different videos now, I'll leave a pop-up on screen to my individual review where I cover absolutely everything that you would want to know. And I'll also leave a pop-up on screen to a comparison video between the Mercurials as well as all the other current model speed boots of 2022. So here they are on feet with some Portuguese dark red socks, Pure Grip Socks Pro to be specific. And I have to say, I think they look better on feet than they look in hand, but in general, the white and blue, especially from a distance, it just has a really clean look to it. I think Cristiano in general, 
tends to prefer white boots. He sticks with those colorways seemingly longer than any other ones. So I'm sure he's pretty happy with the way that these look. But overall, the fit, feel, everything is the same as a regular pair of Superfly 9s or Vapor 15s for that matter, which is definitely not a bad thing. This is arguably the best speed boot of the year. The Vapor Posit Plus upper wraps your foot really nicely, gives you that super secure one-to-one -one fit you expect from a pair of high-end Mercurials, but also is remarkably comfortable. Pair that up with the three-quarter length zoom unit underneath your feet, and you have this kind of underfoot it's cushioned, but it's not mushy cushion. It's a responsiveness that I think gives you almost like a running shoe type level of cushion without feeling like you're sinking into the bottom of the sole plate. I don't necessarily think that it makes you quicker, but as a comfort element, there really isn't anything else that feels like this. And honestly, given the option to have Air Zoom Tech in any pair of football boots, I would absolutely opt into having that. I think this is the technology of the future for the Nike brand. Expect to see it on a bunch of other models. As far as width is concerned, they're mercurial, so they have a tighter overall fit. If you have really wide feet, probably not a great option for you, but if you've worn mercurials in the past and found them comfortable or like the way that they felt, I don't foresee you having any issues with the latest generation. And as far as sizing is concerned, I'm wearing these in my usual size 9.5 US and the fit and the length is perfect. So if you're looking to get a pair for yourself, I would strongly recommend going true to size. That's it for this one though, guys. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.